Hey everybody, the holidays are upon us. Tom here for Walt Disney Planet. I am at Epcot for holidays around the world, all around world showcase. Holidays are in full swing. Some of them were Christmas lights, others with not. So we're gonna go take a look around. Come along. So like we got Goofy skiing. And Donald on the poinsettias. I'm sure this looks a lot nicer at night. Got some other Christmas trees. And a big snow person. And a big, giant, Christmassy tree. Look at that. Angel holding the earth in its hands, I guess. Now I typically go counterclockwise when I'm walking around World Showcase. So I always end up at Canada first. So this is some other decorations they've got out front. Festive music is playing. Other sorted lighting up. Lovely poinsettias around. Poinsettia here. Some nice wreaths. Really let you know the holidays are among us. This year has gone by so quickly. Nice, lovely waterfall covered in green slime. Isn't that beautiful? I feel like I'm at Nickelodeon Studios, but that's at another park. I think Disney needs to add an additive to this water, get rid of all this algae. And the water down below, it's all green and slimy too, man. All greens for the holidays, I guess. Inside the Canada Mercantile store, you got some nice lighted decorations. All right, guys, at the Great Britain Pavilion, got nice festive garland wrapped around the posts. And some really, really nice looking poinsettia trees. More 
garland wrapped in posts. Shiny stuff all over. So all the pavilions usually have Christmas themed showings. Any entertainment that they would have normally at the pavilion would be come Christmas themed. And guests can meet Mary Poppins. Heading over to the France Pavilion, all their light posts on the little bridge here to get candy canes and peppermints on their posts. And giant ornaments over here. Eiffel Tower. Arc de Triomphe. No, you're good. He does not believe in Père Noël, but for me, nothing surpasses the, the magic of the watch night or the fragile beauty of a child's face on Christmas morning. Hello. With Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis has secretly decorated the tree and Francois helped Babette to set up the crash. All right, I'm gonna be passing by the Moroccan pavilion since they are a Islam religion, primarily Muslim country. There would be no Christmas decor since they do not celebrate Christmas. So nothing to really show you there Christmas wise. Okay, moving on. This is the Japan Pavilion. They are Shinto or Buddhist. That is a religion that is practiced primarily by the Japanese people. Therefore, there would be no Christmas decorations here either.
I am here at the American Pavilion, and yes, we do celebrate Christmas, uh, among other holidays. There are people of many faiths in the United States. That is the good thing about the United States, is people can usually live together harmoniously. Got a giant tree here. As I said already, I'm sure it's gonna look a lot nicer at night, but I will not be here at Epcot because I will be over at Walt Disney World for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. See, lots of festive stuff. Sorted garland. At the Italy Pavilion now. Sort of garland going up the stairs, all along the buildings. They've got another nice poinsettia tree. Nice poinsettias all around and the flower pots. Right over here in the Germany Pavilion. Got little Mickey heads. Complete with Santa hat. All along the outside, the buildings in Germany are decorated for Christmas. Not to show you how into Christmas the arm in Germany. This is a store that is open all year long and they sell different Christmas ornaments. They got nutcrackers. All sorts of neat stuff. All their sweets, candies. Got all the different nutcrackers. These are not cheap reproductions. See prices on these would be like. $130, but this is handmade. Then you got the larger ones, which are gonna be a lot more money. You see there's a sign, Epcot holidays around the world. All right, the China Pavilion. No Christmas decorations up. 
is they are a multiple religion based Confucianism, Buddhism, Islam, and even Christianity. But they are not traditionally uh, a culture that celebrates Christmas. On to Norway in our giant icicle or snowflake plant things. I'm not really quite sure how to describe them. Snowflakes with a giant flower in the middle, I guess. I don't know. Now, this is home to the new Frozen Ever After ride that replaced the Nordstrom boat ride. Kept the same track, changed out all of the decor, all the other right elements. They got the nice wreaths all around their light posts, all throughout the area. And of course, the symbol of Christmas that you'll see all over is the poinsettia. This is also the location of the Anna and Elsa Meet and greet. This is right near Anna and Elsa's cabin. Some nice looking wreaths up on the buildings and on the posts all around Mexico. More lights and garland. I don't need a okay, then stay with, please stay with dad. Stay with dad. You're the key family. All right, everybody, thanks for coming along today at the holidays around the world, all around World Showcase and Upcut Center in Florida. As you can see, not everybody celebrates Christmas. Everybody has their own unique traditions and celebrations. So keep that in mind. Don't judge people for their beliefs. Everybody has their own traditions. Uh, everybody should be respected. Uh, have a happy holiday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.